Hey guys, this is Alex Olson here with Exchange Commercial Real Estate for another multifamily minute. And what I thought I'd do here is just level set the entire multifamily market in Kansas City. Now this is dated 318 of 2022, so March 18th uh, on a Friday. So if you're watching this a week or two later, this could change. However, every single week I try to bring you guys exactly what's uh, coming new to the market. So rather than doing that every single week with everything that's on market, let's take a look and reset what is on the market in its entirety. So here we have uh, LoopNet, which we've all talked about. We all know what it does and what it isn't. Uh, but this is a great overview of typically some of the larger properties. However, duplexes, fourplexes, et cetera, uh, will pop up on this. Um, and in this particular case, I have this filtered to over 500,000 multifamily only and the Kansas City Metro here, which does a pretty good job of showing what's in the Metro. Uh, and then, then we kind of, I have it sorted over here by price, list price. And the first one I wanted to just talk really quickly about is this one in Overland Park. Overland Park is a very strong market very high rents, uh, class A market, and it's really kind of building by building specific in terms of how much or how little the project goes for. But uh, as Logan Freeman and I term it, it's uh, JoCo, which is Johnson County, the land of no cash flow. <clears throat> so uh, having said that, this particular property looks like a pretty dang nice property. Uh, it's on the market. However, it is under contract. I did go ahead and verify that, but it's 36 units for 5.8 million. So you can see a little bit about the price per door there, 5.52% cap rate. That's likely uh, a projected cap rate number rather than based on actuals of what's going on today. And um, anyway, it's a great looking product, but it is under contract. Uh, then I wanted to focus on next on the list, which is Parkway Gardens here, uh, pretty dang close to Research Hospital along 71 Highway. And that is a uh, pretty large employer, especially for the area. It's also just east of Brookside, which is going to be this area here uh, is Brookside and 63rd Street. A lot of wealthy families live there. It's a kind of a, a very quiet neighborhood. This is Troost and this is Paseo. Uh, and there's beautiful architecture in this area. It doesn't show it here, but there's also a um, there's also a church that's next to this. It gives it even more land, as well as uh, Class A multifamily right next door. So this is listed by Clemens Real Estate, which is a firm I used to be at. So I'm pretty intimately familiar with this property, and I do think it's a great deal. Uh, there are some nuances in there that I think could really help the buyer understand the value here. And by the way, this $4.5 million price, I believe is more like 4.35. Uh, and that just needs to be updated. So uh, please hit me up about this property because I do think there is significant value here uh, next to this class A neighborhood. Things are gentrifying to the east this way, all the way up to 71. I mean, they've put millions into this hospital uh, and in fact, there's class A multifamily in and around this area all over the place. So um, it, it has vacancy issues, but I think we can get over that with some creative financing with the seller. All right, so that's that property. Uh, a couple other properties here in the urban core. Uh, this one I talked about in the last multifamily minute was new last week, 1.4 million um, for 12 units right on 43rd and Harrison which is next to Troost, urban core, midtown, great neighborhood. Uh, looks like it needs some cosmetic updates, but otherwise seems to be a, a, fairly, uh, a fairly solid uh, building, so to speak. So uh, that's another opportunity. This opportunity here, um, also next to 71 on Linwood, is a property that a lot of it's been redeveloped. Uh, recently looks like complete rehab on some units, uh, 16 units for 1.79. I think that's a little high for that particular area. However, the gentrifying line again. So we have 
Troost is pretty much gentrified up to Troost, continues to be gentrified, gentrifying to 71 Highway here for sure, uh, here in you know very recent. So it's a good long-term play, and uh, I think it looks like it's had quite a bit of work done to it, so it could be an option for somebody if it's still available. And that brings us over here to this 27th uh, Street Benton property. And this is property I've seen on and off the market over the last several years. It looks like a lot of work has been done to this one this time around. Um, I'm not super big on this particular area at this price point, um, but I do think, you know, just like everything in Kansas City, there's always opportunity there, but um, this would be more of a C minus D plus area, which I usually don't uh, bring to clients too much, but I could be missing something on the deeper dive of the details. Uh, however, it is at $500,000. So um, I just wanted to highlight that as an available property here. All right, so scrolling back out, getting our bearings straight. So we covered all these over here. And the last one, this one's also under contract. It was on my list for a while uh, with a friend of mine who owns it. And actually, um, we had it under contract before as well, but it's under contract again. And uh, it's a great neighborhood. And you've seen me talk about it in the past several times, so I won't spend too much time on it. But if it does come back up available, I highly recommend reaching out to me so we can take a closer look at it. It's your standard townhouse style property, class A submarket, Lee Summit School District. Um, not a whole lot to go wrong here. Oh, and by the way, uh, the, the grade school is right here. Um, and they just cleared all of this land out to build even more brand new class A uh, townhouse style duplexes. And I can tell you those are going to be two or three hundred thousand dollars per unit type of build and construction. Um, and these are one hundred twenty thousand dollars a door. So it's not available now, but uh, I think it's a little bit of a missed opportunity. But if it comes back around, someone should definitely snag it. So as far as in a nutshell, that's LoopNet. It's all the properties we have right now on this particular platform. Um, you can see wide range of prices. And with that, let's go over to, um, see if I can get this to, yeah, so here's is Zillow. And Zillow, you're gonna recognize some, many of the same uh, properties. Of course, Parkway Gardens, I talked about that. Uh, 4.5 million. This one here is located in Belton Raymore area and it's newer construction uh, duplexes side by side, pretty large units. Uh, they are a bit dated on the inside. However, structurally and all other aspects show real good value. It's been on the market for a while. I have pretty good details on it. Could be an opportunity to split the package up a little bit. Um, highly recommend reaching out to me, we can get even further details on it, see if there's a play there. Um, these kind of duplexes are going for $300,000 a building, so $150,000 a unit, oftentimes now approaching $200,000 a unit. So the main reason why people don't understand is there's really no owner expenses. The uh, tenants pay for everything, lawn, well, maybe not lawn, but trash, electric, gas, water, sewer, um, you name it. So the only thing you've got to do there is maybe mow the, mow the yard. So that's that property. Um, this one here has also been on and off the market a couple times. Uh, 3.5 million for a property here in Kansas City, Kansas. And that has been out there for a while. Um, I, I do think there's value there. I'm not sure it's worth 3.5 million. But um, if you haven't taken a look at this one, it might be something worth diving into together to see if there's something we can get in front of the seller that might make sense. Um, if you're familiar with Kansas City, Kansas, it is a solid C-class neighborhood, in particular uh, parts of this area. Um, there's a lot going on in Kansas City, Kansas in terms of new development, new. That's typically out west. So this is more of an established area here. Um, I think a new owner could come in there and and really continue to improve the area with this uh, property set. I believe it's around 50 units. Um, so if you want to know more about that, please reach out to me and we can dive into that together. Uh, next on the list 
is this property here, which I would not consider much of multifamily, it's mixed use, um, which is not something we typically focus on. So I'm going to move on from that one. Uh, we have a uh, multi-site property here in uh, actually a couple of them. Here's one of Blue Springs. This is actually houses, not multifamily portfolio. Here's another house portfolio um, that we typically don't deal, deal with um, unless sir, we see exceptional value to it. It's just not in our wheelhouse. And then down here is a, uh, is a duplex for $600,000. Now this is a large property. Oh, by the way, when I was talking to you regarding a property here for, for 4.5 million, um, I believe, let's see here, this is gonna be right in that same area. And this shows you kind of everything that's all been super redone and very nice, but it's $300,000 a unit. Um, I think it could be fine for somebody who's gonna own or occupy. It's very turnkey. Um, it could be a cool investment for somebody who wants to live in one side, run out the other. I'm um, not sure it's for $600,000, but happy to dive into that uh, with you together. And I believe that takes care of everything, literally everything that's on market here in Kansas City. Oh, I guess there is this Oak Grove property, which is another mix. It's not mixed use, but there's maybe four units here for $700,000, uh, probably out of uh, price range for what I could recommend. However, happy to take a look at that with you as well. Um, you know, Oak Grove is an exceptional market here, uh, Lake Lottawana, where I live, you know, you get further east, it gets more rural, it's growing fast, everything along 70 here is growing quite quickly, um, and now to Oak Grove has good school districts and a little bit more of uh, rural sprawl, so to speak. So it's a good market, not sure it commands a $700,000 price tag, but again, reach out, happy to dive into it uh, with you. So that takes care of everything that is on market in Kansas City uh, in the metro here, which is our main focus. And you can tell from both LoopNet and Zillow, there's not a ton. Um, so now let's go ahead and focus with just what uh, we have on available through Exchange. And that is uh, created a custom map over here. It shows our current four properties that are technically still available. Uh, you can see the Lottawana property, which is actually going to be uh, down over here, is no longer, uh, sorry, right here, no longer available because it's under contract. So our focus shifts to the four that we do have available. We have some other ones we're working on, not quite there yet, but the Pleasant Valley and Liberty properties that I talked about last week are here. Uh, you can see the respective location. This, this isn't exact, but this is just kind of roughly where they're at in the, t in the town. Liberty Class A, excellent, typically trades well over $100,000 a unit. Pleasant Valley is going to be anchored by Clay Como, Ford Motor Company plant. Um, strong C market due to the uh, employment center here. Uh, so I've covered those in the past, still available. These two in the historic Northeast, I've covered those as well. And this 13 unit here is a vacant building. And this 29 unit here is mostly vacant. Two separate sellers, you can buy both of them and really help this part of town continue to gentrify, which is, you know, again, downtown here, slowly gentrifying. Well, actually this here is quickly gentrifying because of this potential stadium here uh, east as well as Kansas City University to the north. So it's gentrifying this way pretty quickly. I'm not saying it's going to get over here by the end of next year, but I do think this area here is prime for um, uh, forcing appreciation, okay? So you've seen those. This one you haven't seen yet, which I'll also talk about next week in the multifamily minute, but this is a Kansas City, Kansas Plaza 12. So Country Club Plaza is here. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning uh, architecture all along here. You've got high-end shopping, high-end restaurants, amazing views, condos all down here to you know help these people take a look at at the views. Um, University of Missouri, Kansas City is over here. 
these were selling at a 4% cap rate a couple of years ago. They probably sell at a 3% cap rate now. So you continue west. Here's West Plaza, great location for residential. Um, and then here in this area is, we're on the Kansas side, and there's a 12 units here that is excellent, um, completely rehabbed, looks amazing, very nice. It's a hefty price tag uh, on it, but if you're looking for a trophy asset in Kansas City, Kansas, this is the one that you should look at. Um, and again, I have the details on all of these. Uh, and uh, oh, by the way, too, there's Joe's Kansas City. Um, where is that at? It's, it's here in this area, Joe's Kansas City, which is the world famous barbecue shop uh, over here. You see it all over the place on diners, drive-ins and dives and other places. Um, it's actually close by, so this is a little bit off, but it's actually over here. Um, but regardless, uh, this is an excellent area to invest in anything in the urban core has been appreciating pretty, pretty much like gangbusters. Um, and just to give you a preview, I've got a lease summit deal coming in. Hopefully I've got uh, hopefully an independence deal coming in. So again, this is all exclusive really to um, exchange CRE where we have really worked hard to develop a relationship with the sellers to promise them we're gonna bring them very well qualified buyers. So again, this is the overview of the market multifamily minute. I really do look forward to um, hearing from you and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as we continue to uh, push this forward and look forward to it. Again, Alex Olson, Multifamily Minute with Exchange Commercial Real Estate.